welcome back tonight. Oh, I feel like Nigella. Welcome to Come Dine With Me with Nigella. Mm. Mm. Right, so tonight's Gusto meal. We're having haddock and leek risotto. So, as usual, I did a little bit of prep work while Nigel was putting Brooke to bed. But we've got arborio rice, we've got some soft cheese, vegetable stock mix, some dill, which I've separated into two piles because one is for garnish and one is for the dish, lemon wedges, leeks, shallots, knob of butter, drizzle of olive oil, pepper, and the haddock bites are in there. Oh my great, I'm ready for zesting lemon in a minute. Um, so, let's crack on. Boil the kettle first. Right, so boil the kettle. I'm going to put the pan on to get a little bit hot to put the leeks in. Just add a drizzle of olive oil in there. And it said you need a matching lid. Well, I didn't have a matching lid for this frying pan because this frying pan is literally donkey's years old. And this is from a saucepan, but we'll make do. It fits. I think that'll be all right to soak up the uh, juices into the rice. So we'll just make do. Get that hot and then put the leeks and the shallots in there. And then we put the boiling water in there with the vegetable stock and dissolve it. And then it's going to be going into there. Right, I think that's hot. I did wash my hands again before we started. my boxes for next week as well got some nice meals so I probably won't do a vlog every night that night we'll probably do a roundup I'll film little bits and pieces and then put it all together at the end of the week so the leeks shallots or is it nice your shallot that's your shallot So, while they're softening, it says, add 600 ml of water to the vegetable stock. There you go. Water. I want to turn the flame down a little bit. Right, so that's turned down. Softening, softening, softening. And I've still got to go in yet. No, I haven't got to go in just yet. You've got to add a knob of butter to the pan. So there's the knob of butter. along with the arboreal rice. with another butter. That's what it says. Right, 
place. I think that's probably coated. Now what? Sorry, I've got to keep looking at the recipe. Uh, I cook for one minute. Yeah. And then add the stock a ladle at a time. Oh, lady, oh, oh, lady, 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 I'm going to keep stirring. Keep stirring, keep stirring. Another ladle. Stir, stir, stir. this bit if you want dear and come back when you've done the last ladle right that's been going now for about 15 20 minutes it just absorbed all of the stock and i added a little bit more hot water from the kettle uh, it says you can do that if it starts to absorb the water and you think the rice is still a little bit hard so i just tested a bit and it felt a little bit soft to touch so now right zest the lemon not very big lemon and you're not supposed to get the white bit because otherwise it's a bit bitter don't quite know how much zest I'm going to get off these little mini skewer wedges they could have been a bit more generous with the size lemon they gave us, I think. Is that supposed to be off the heat? Well, I think so, because otherwise it's going to burn. Oh, yeah. rice is tender, slight bite yet, yeah. stir through the juice of two lemon wedges and the soft cheese and half of the lemon zest, half of the lemon zest, okay, and what I'm going to do again, squeeze the juice of two lemons in there, and that'll be those two. Lemon wedges. Living tiny, are they? Right. Let's heat up. Some dog with pepper. Is this going to be done? Now we're trying to do do it. Gonna stick. Okay. Stuck to the bottom a minute, guys. A little bit. Okay. Let's just leave it off the heat one second while I read what's next. 
of the dill. Put the dill in, keep half for the garnish and add the soft cheese. Get in there. Get in there. Stir it through. Well, let's just hope it tastes better than it looks, guys. Didn't you say that you had to put half the zest in as well? Yeah. Not much zest there. That's all there is. So, put a little bit there on the red board. So, don't look worth burning putting in, was it? Good stir. Make sure I can that smell them, lemon. Cheese is through there properly. I would have thought needed a bit more hot water, but I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Okay. Top the rice with a haddock bites and cook covered. So there's the haddock. We don't want the absorbable sheets because I've made that mistake before, didn't I, Nigel? One Christmas day, I thought, mm. where's all the juices from the turkey? Don't seem to be, you know, not enough there to baste. Huh. So I thought, oh well, it's one of them non basting one self basted turkeys. Got the turkey out of the oven. And um, it had one of those blooming sanitary towel things stuck to the bottom of it. <laughs> just thought I'd share that piece of information with you. You're supposed to be putting the lid on it. Let's just turn the heat up a bit. Just, Nigel's turned it down. Get that bit over there. Put that in. Making a right mess here, look. Up a bit higher. My temperature in my pan keeps going up and down. Get rid of that. I'm going to put a bit of that on that, that, and the dill. And I'll use that little bit of zest there that's left, a tiny bit. Right, what do you think? Three to four minutes, so that'll be about 20 past nine, won't it? It says it's cooked when it goes opaque. Or when the fire alarm goes off. Yeah. Yeah, let's hope it uh, tastes better than it looks, guys, because to me it looks something like what Oliver Twist would have. But I've never had a risotto before, so... That's time for everything. Well, you don't know if you don't like these things unless you try them. So, if we don't like it, we won't have to order it again. And um, we just choose a different meal next time. Should we get some bowls out ready? One, two. We finished the fish is cooked but that was a bit difficult and apparently it is hard to cook a risotto but we had a bit of a another so ta -da! 
when you're cooking the fish you're not stirring it obviously so then all the rice gets stuck to the bottom of the pan and the card doesn't tell you whether to turn the temperature up or down it doesn't tell you any uh only at the beginning to get the pan hot when you put the leeks in that's the only part but anyway there's the finished product so we'll let you know what it's like when we've tasted it right so we've eaten our dinner and two empty bowls again really really enjoyed it it's a shame we didn't get to eat all of it because some of it was stuck to the bottom of the pan but hey ho yeah it was really nice the fish was tender flaking it was all really nice and the rice was nice and soft yeah i really really liked it you could taste the lemon throughout it and it was nice and creamy um i think i realized my mistake right at the beginning when i said to you i haven't got a matching lid for a frying pan we'll just manage that was my problem you need to have a heavy based saucepan like a non-stick one with a matching lid and mine is not non-stick and I didn't have a matching lid so if you can and you want to try this recipe out <laughs> use that um, but other than that I was really full um, yeah I was really pleasantly surprised again and anybody knows who knows me knows I've got a big appetite and I wouldn't say if I wasn't full but I am I'm really really pleased what did you think Nigel? Yeah, it was nice. That's it? Yeah. You didn't really, you wasn't keen then? No, it was nice. I just said it was nice. Oh. But you would have preferred to have a little bit more, is it? I'd probably eat a little bit more, yeah. But but it was nice. Oh, right. Okay then. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be doing the Chinese banquet meal tomorrow. Um... So I'm really looking forward to that one. That'll be the last one for this week. And then I'm just going to try and do healthy meals then over the weekend. Um, we've got one, I said earlier, on order ready for next week. Um, what else? Is there anything else I need to say? I don't think so. Catch you later. Oh, please like, subscribe and share. It would help my channel out no end. Thank you very much.